uh, let me ask the first question to a lady on the panel. Uh, Sabrina, why are you doing what you are doing? It all really started us like from my mom. My mom is really what inspired me to start all this. She got sick. And when I was with her in the hospitals, like we just couldn't find anything for her to be comfortable in. We couldn't find anything for her to wear. And that's when I started identifying the holes in the market. And so to me, starting a brand meant doing something different, not the same, because at that point, then what do, what do, what do we need it for in the market? And so I started it to, to change the game, to do something that was high quality, affordable, made locally, and something that nobody had ever felt before. Wonderful. Excellent. Uh... Sabrina, tell us about the last six months of your of business. How are they? The last six months have been insane. Um, so we, I had a business partner that I bought out. And unfortunately, at the time, he had left us with a slew of inventory that we didn't need, couldn't move. I didn't know what to do with it. So when this whole COVID pandemic started, and everything was all in, up in arms. We actually did have a store in the Lower East Side that we had opened and we were really excited about our growth and all these new wholesale accounts. And then all of them canceled. Everything happened within that week that we had to shut it all down. And I just, I moved my entire inventory of, you know, almost $250,000 worth of inventory into my basement and was like, okay, I'll be the fulfillment center. And sales were increasing very slowly, a couple here and there, because we make joggers, hoodies, we make basics, but we're tactile. So it was always a struggle being a small business without kind of any kind of marketing budget, any investor, anybody to help. How do we get the name out there? And so I, the reason we grew so quickly was I started tie dyeing everything. And I said like, cool, I can do this in my kitchen. I can make them to order. I can build this relationship with our clients. And it just word of mouth spread, it spread, it spread. And that's how I sold out within a month of like, all of this inventory, we have a wait list now. We've had people constantly emailing every single day. Um, I mean, I, I could have probably continued growing the business had I not sold out of everything that I had. And now we're just waiting for our new inventory to come. That's already almost 70% purchased pre-ordered. So it's just the only way I did. Yeah, it was, it was acclimating. And it was also listening to what the consumer wanted because I could have easily just made five different colorways and said, well, this is what you get and you order this. But instead I figured, let me do something customized. I mean, what am I doing? I'm sitting home all day anyways. Let me build the relationship with the customer. Let me see what they want. And that's also what helped me plan fall and figure out what what direction to go in for our future based off of six months of consumer behavior that they're giving me their full rate. This is not a buyer. This isn't a store. This isn't a wholesaler. This is the person who's paying full price for the product and they cast their vote on what the future that they want to see. 